Welcome back. 613 on your Tuesday morning. A little bit of a cloudy start out there now. A little bit of a cloudy start, but sunrise 612, so the sun coming Just up. Coming up. Maybe a little bit of that sunshine today. Mm -hmm. And kind of warm out there too. Yeah, I know Don, you're with me on like the whole summer ending way too quickly type thing. Oh, absolutely. And so yeah. humidity I love all the day. Summer. I know certain, like I know certain people are happy to see their pumpkin <laughs> spice uh, lattes it's come It's not me. We have to go through the season, so it's not the worst. We, thing. I, we do like have to, to go, go through fall. the seasons, but I mean Pumpkin spice in August? It's a little yeah, a little, August 14th, little I think early. it came but out. We're also like in the minority there because most people do like it. I know, yeah. most people like the fall the and the transition. change. It's the transition. Yes, it is the transition from summer to fall. But it is gonna feel like summer around here today with temperatures getting into the mid to upper 70s. And while we do have a fair amount of clouds as we get going this morning, I think we do work in a little bit of sunshine. Now there is the chance for a spot shower. I think the daylight hours are going to remain dry for just about all of us. We will see clouds mixing in, though, and you do see your 24 picking up on a couple of spot showers this afternoon into this evening. The better chance for rainfall is going to come overnight tonight, especially as we head into the pre-dawn hours and towards tomorrow morning's commute as a system begins to approach from the west. So we'll see the chance for some showers, downpours, maybe even some embedded thunderstorms. So just keep that in mind for tomorrow morning's commute. It could slow you down a little bit. And then that will move on out. We'll start to work in a little bit of sunshine tomorrow afternoon. Still a chance for a spot shower tomorrow. And it's still going to be on the muggy side, especially during the first half of the day. Drier air will start to move in by tomorrow evening. And that will set us up for a nice stretch of weather for the end of the week and even into the upcoming Labor Day weekend. But as we get going this morning, you do see we have a fair amount of clouds out there. You can see some fog off in the distance as well as the temperature and dew point pretty close together this morning. Right now, 63 here in Springfield with a dew point of 62. You can see the winds are calm and the winds not much of a factor this afternoon out of the southeast between around three and six miles per hour. So temperatures as we get going this morning, mainly in the 60s, dew points in the upper 50s and lower 60s, but those, both the temperatures and the dew points climb as the day goes on. But no concerns out there this morning. Yes, we do have some clouds and a little bit of fog, but we are dry. You do see some shower activity well to our south and southeast. This is not going to be a factor for us. This is some tropical moisture out ahead of Hurricane Franklin, which is not an issue for us here in southern New England, except along the shoreline where it is going to kick up the surf and bring a high rip current risk as we head deeper into the week. But this tropical moisture combined with a trough off to our west over the Great Lakes, that's what's going to come through here tomorrow, and that's what's going to bring the chance for those showers and downpours in here just in time for tomorrow morning commute. So I think for tomorrow morning, you're going to want to have the umbrella handy. But for today, sunshine, clouds, more clouds and sun. Temperatures mid to upper 70s with that southeasterly wind between three and six miles per hour. And then tonight, temperatures only falling back into the mid 60s, mid 70s tomorrow with the chance for those showers and downpours in the morning. But then drier air starts to move in by Thursday. And as we head towards the end of the week, end of the week and into the upcoming holiday weekend, looking sunny, warm and dry with temperatures in the 70s to lower 80s by the time we get towards Labor Day. That's check your forecast. David, Amanda, send it back over to you. Don, thank you.